Hi everyone, I'm going to be unboxing the June 2016 Try the World box. Um, I've already opened it, but I haven't looked up inside yet. I just popped the tape off the tab. Um, this box, it offers you five different snacks from five different countries. They have a larger box that costs a little bit more where they highlight one specific country and send you snacks from that particular country, but I wanted to be more diverse and try different things, so I ordered the snack box option. I will leave the links and information in the description tab below in case you're wondering or in case you want to purchase one of these boxes. So, when you open it up, this is what is inside. I cannot see much except for Um, a little postcard that says a monthly delivery of gourmet treats from around the world and on the back it tells you what's inside so I'm gonna put that aside because I want it to be a surprise um, there's straw that is going to get everywhere um, all right let me bring it over so you guys can see what I am looking at so, excuse all the diaper boxes in the background, I am a mom. So, let's start with this. It is a, okay, um, Quivatu Marjamix Real Berries is what it's, I don't know if this will, I don't know if the glare is, alright. So, Real Berries, um, it definitely feels like there are real berries inside of that. Um, the next thing in here is some butter cookies. It says sweet and salty butter cookies. That should be interesting. Um, okay. Um, Ines Rosales Citrus Crumble Cake, the traditional way. Um, I can see in the corner there, it says that it's from Spain. I don't know if um this really sounds like something well yeah and then in the opposite quarter it says hecho en España so yay okay some Spanish citrus cake that sounds good and this over here ginger snaps mmm that sounds like it could be interesting I mean Currently, right now, ginger snaps are on recall in the United States, so there's that. Um, okay, and then taro, taro chips? Uh, I can't read this. Uh, I, I wish I could, but it just says 100% natural vegetables. And those are my five snacks. Okay, so let's try some um the citrus cake from spain i'm going to save for my husband only because he really loves citrusy things but um let's try let's try the sweet and salty butter cookies why not all right oh they smell really good they smell like they smell like some cookies that my grandma used to have when I was little. Um, you know the ones that come in those those tins that then they put sewing stuff in? Like, that's what they smell like. Really good smell. I like that. So it's just a little cookie. And it's probably going to mess up my lipstick. But that's fine. I mean, it's whatever. Okay. Mmm. It tastes just like those butter cookies from the tin. Now, the packaging and the description and everything on it is in Spanish on the back. So it just says 
una galletita de manteca con una nueva sensación. Ok. Butter cookie. Ok. Um, you know. Um, they have other flavors of the butter cookies. They have coconut, lemon, and ginger, and a chai cookie. But um, I think we just got the regular ones. Fine by me. Not bad at all. Um, ginger. You know what? Let me take a look now that I have seen everything that's in it. Let me take a look at the back of the postcard. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, whatever. So the um, the taro taro chips are from Thailand and. A starchy root vegetable. Mmm. The um, citrus crumble cake is from Spain, as it said on the packaging. And the ginger snaps, I think I'm going to try the ginger snaps next. They are from Sweden. Yummy. The um, butter cookies are from Argentina, which would explain why it's in Spanish on the back. And the dried berries are from Finland. So pretty diverse. Um, I, I'm pretty excited. It's the first time I've ever ordered this box. And I didn't order more. I just wanted to try it. Um, but I think it seems pretty fun. So I'm going to try the ginger snaps and see how those taste. Hopefully like ginger snaps. Um, and then... Oh, you know, it's kind of crumbled. I don't know. Excuse my nail polish. I am horrible with that. Um, you can't really see it. It's crumbled. They're kind of broken in here. I don't know if, if it was the packaging or if my mailman's really care careless. I kind of don't want to open that and get it everywhere. So, let's try, you know what? Let's try the vegetable chips. Let me explain something off the bat. I don't eat vegetables. I mean like, aside from veg green beans and corn, I'm not a vegetable person. I'm a sweets person. I love sweets, chocolate, all that kind of stuff. My baby's awake. I can't even get this open. Well, if I could get it open, I would try it, right? I should have came prepared. I don't have scissors, but I happen to have nail clippers nearby. That's kind of weird, right? Whatevs. Um, okay. Okay, we're in. So, I want to stay optimistic. Maybe I will love them. I just... I really don't like vegetables. They don't really... They don't really smell like anything. But they look really weird. Mm. Okay, so... Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't have the consistency of a chip. It's like, like if a chip and a cookie had a baby, it would be these things. And it doesn't really have a taste to it. I feel like it's a very muted potato taste. And I would assume that with it being a starchy vegetable, that's probably why it has that taste. But... I mean, I don't, I don't particularly care for it. I'm going to eat it because I opened it, but not my favorite. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching my first video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I don't care. Um, I don't know what kind of channel this is going to be because it's just mine. Nap time's over, so I got to go. Have a great day.